Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to my first What I Eat in a Day. I know my last video already came out this month, but in fact that video was filmed in December before Christmas, so this is really the first video of 2023, so Happy New Year! And for this year I have a few resolutions, mostly to do with wellness and just being more present. Like this year, I don't want it to be my year, I just want to be. Like this year I just want to be, that's it. Last year I was working myself so hard, I got so burnt out, I ended up in therapy, and this year... Mm -mm, we're not doing that. So I got a few resolutions for this year and one of them was to pick up my gratitude journal back again and I was shocked when actually the last entry on my gratitude journal was from July 2021. I was noticing that I was starting to compare myself a lot with other people. It was a good time to start to pick it back up again. This is the one I'm using but uh, this isn't sponsored. I'll try to get a discount code for the description if you want to get one yourself but literally if you just get a blank notepad it helps me have a positive outlook in life and I'm a firm believer that if you have a positive outlook on life you'll get anything you want and that's the spiel for today so because I slept in a little bit today I'm going to have a little bit of a small breakfast I'm going to have toast with peanut butter and I'm going to have a tea because I'm living alone most of the time if I don't freeze the bread it will go bad before I get through the entire loaf and I really really don't like wasting food so I just keep it in the freezer I take slices from the freezer and put them in the toaster and then that's it quick and easy so a little story about myself in tea is that I used to loathe, hate tea. It tasted like wet leaf and hot water and it was disgusting. And then I started working for a company where we worked for the UK and there was this group of two English guys and one Portuguese guy who lived in England before. They would get together every day at 4 p.m. and they would make tea. And then one day they offered to make tea for me as well. And then I tried it and it was good. So I realized that actually it wasn't that I didn't like tea, I just never had really good tea before. <laughs> and then I became a tea lover. So the ones I keep all the time are the one that I actually have to go restock now, which is the English breakfast, the Empress Grey, green tea of course. On a Ryanair flight once I had the chai became obsessed, this one is amazing. Darjeeling tea and this one I actually bring from Portugal. This time I brought two boxes because I cannot live without this tea. This is the best ginger lemon tea for when I have a cold. I can't find it in the UK so I bring it from Portugal. That's it. Perks of being an immigrant. And I know there are better teas, other teas that I haven't discovered in my life. It's never too late to find a new love. So if there's any tea you like, give me tea recommendations in the comments because I, I'm obsessed with tea. Today I think I'm going to go for a Empress Grey. to prepare lunch and I really don't feel like cooking a lot for lunch so I'm going to do a very quick dish, shakshuka. I spent the holidays in Portugal with my family and I just came back this week. Literally every time I fly or come back from a holiday it takes me about three weeks to get back into the routine but this time I said no. Jessica, you will not be a piece of donut this time. And yesterday I went grocery shopping, so I'm really proud of myself because at least I won't spend the next three weeks feeling like I'm out of whack with my routine. So we're doing good for 2023 resolutions. Something else that I also need to fix from my resolution list from last year to this year is that last year I had goals to kind of complete the interior design of my house. One of the goals I had was to make paintings from my own home because ever since I was little I always liked to do kind of artsy stuff and like make my own things and paint and stuff so I wanted to have my own paintings in my home. How many paintings do you think I have at home right now? 
the answer is zero. It's zero. So I've got these two big canvases. Each of them costs like 12 pounds, which is amazing. Today is the day that I'm going to make the painting for my living room. So I'm just going to change into some old clothes real quick. And let's get started. <laughs> Can I also clarify as well that I've not actually gone to Cambridge University. This is a really old shirt from high school and I actually don't know what these symbols are meant to be. My body is so exhausted now, but my brain feels so happy. <laughs> it's weird. The canvas uh, needs to dry now. Then I need to figure out if there's any touch-ups or tweaks I need to do, maybe paint it a little bit. But in a week's time, I hope they're going to be up on the wall and I'm going to leave here the final result so you can see it. Now I'm going to rest my physical body here on the couch for a bit, send a few emails and then I'm going to take a shower and then time for dinner. For dinner I'm going to make a lentil doll, which sounds weird because like doll is lentil, so I'm making a lentil lentil. <laughs> we'll start off with a cup of chai taste. Chai tea? Chai is actually meaning tea. So you can say, can I have a chai or can I have a tea, but you can't say chai tea. That's like a tea tea. Well, I don't know what a tea tea is, but I'll have a chai tea if that's not a problem. If I go for seconds, this is really good. <laughs> you might go for seconds. And now for dessert, I'm going to have a little sweet. I actually don't know how you pronounce it. Aero or an arrow. Before going to bed, one thing that I've also been trying to do every day is to stretch. Even if it's just five minutes, just stretching because I feel like if I don't, I'll start to regret it. I haven't stretched in ages properly, so I just started this week. Now I'm just going to stretch literally and then I'm going to do my gratitude journaling and I'm going to bed. Ooh.